How are we doing everybody? This is Let's Be Real Brad. Today I'm going to be talking about our first Christmas movie this year and that is The Night Before. The Night Before is a 2015 Christmas comedy stoner film directed by Jonathan Levine who is known for directing 50-50, Warm Bodies, and Longshot. It stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Seth Rogen, and Anthony Mackie. This is the second time I've seen this film. I first watched it in the theaters back when I was 16. I thought it was very funny but I feel like I didn't understand and appreciate many of the jokes because at the time I was a lot more innocent and naive. Watching it again I feel like I understood more jokes and found the film much funnier this time. This film got tons of belly laughs out of me, much more than I expected, but there are a lot of aspects I found worse with this second watch. Let's begin with the positives, starting with the cast. I thought they all did a decent job making believe they are actual best friends and they all had amazing chemistry with each other. They are the selling points of the film and carry most of the film's success. They are so funny throughout most of the film and have a likable presence to their characters. Michael Shannon gives the best performance and I just cannot believe they got him in this movie. He is the absolute best character nailing every single scene and his role is perfect. Writing in the film is alright. The movie relies more on the absurdity of the situations they find themselves in which makes for a wacky crazy movie that always finds a way to be so hilarious. Since this is a stoner comedy, there are a lot of insane and creative situations the characters are put in that makes the movie a load of fun to watch. The film knows how silly this is, but makes for a very hilarious and well done comedy. The film has more heart to it than I was initially expecting going into this film, and I wish we had seen more of. There are a lot of genuine loving scenes between the three main characters that never felt forced. It was the backbone of the film which we know why this friendship is so important to all of them and you want them all to be happy together as they go along. As for the negatives, the film has unbelievably bad editing that distracted me quite a bit. It was especially apparent in its weird action scenes that are overly edited and was very distracting to watch. Not all the writing works in this film as it seems like there are many parts of the film are improvised which are the funniest parts but there is one major subplot that feels forced into the storyline. This part of the story felt cheesy and didn't really work well with the rest of the film. I felt it could have been executed much better. Directing isn't that great and they failed to capture a lot of creative shots. I know most of you might not care about this, but when the presentation of the film is very distracting, sometimes the best aspects get a little overshadowed. Overall, this is a fun Christmas comedy film that I enjoyed more than I thought I would, with great and hilarious comedic moments that made me laugh so many times during the film with its insane situations, but has quite a bit of negatives that sometimes bog this movie down. I'm giving this film a 6 out of 10. Let me know down below in the comments section, have you seen The Night Before? And if you have, what did you all think about it? As always, I will see you all in the next video.